Welcome back into Rover Sports, guys. And yesterday, I'm hearing from a lot of people that the New York Giants made a big mistake or a big risk by passing on a quarterback in, in the NFL draft. And I just wanted to send this message to Giants fans and to Dave Gettleman that I 100% have your back in what you did. I 100% agree with everything that Dave Gettleman did during the weekend. I agree with Saquon Barkley being the pick. I think all the quarterbacks in this draft have questions. I don't want to draft a malcontent with Josh Rosen because Cal Colin Cowherd said a great line. I'll, I'll give him a lot of credit. He said, with a running back, you can date a running back, but a quarterback you have to marry. And when you're going to be with someone for 15 years, it is like a marriage, you know, at the quarterback position and the general manager. So if Josh Rosen, it, he, his personality is very abrasive. I didn't want Josh Rosen to be the Giants' starting quarterback. The thing is, you can have a great running back or a great defensive end, and their personality might not be completely perfect. But as a quarterback, you want to have a guy like Eli Manning's personality, like Russell Wilson's. You want to have an elite leader, an elite guy that you can be, you know, that you can back every single Sunday. And I look at the Giants, and I didn't believe in Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold will be a bust at the NFL level. I think his arm strength is not that great. He's fidgety. I like Kyle Lawletta even more than Sam Darnold, even though that's a very unpopular opinion. I think is going to be a better pro than Sam Darnold's going to be. And uh, basically, I just wanted to affirm, though, a lot of Giants fans, I love getting Saquon Barkley. I love that we're trying to win a championship right now. This team has a ton, a ton of talent. Janoris Jenkins, Landon, Alec Ogletree, uh, Olivier Vernon, Guys like Dalvin Tomlinson and Snacks that are really going to help, and B.J. Hill and Lorenzo Carter now. The, the, the wide receiver group of Sterling, Odell, Saquon, Evan Ingram. This is a team that can win the division and can compete for a Super Bowl next year, compete to win the NFC, compete to go to Atlanta and win the whole thing next year. And... You saw what the Eagles did. They had a very quiet offseason. Vegas put their over-under at eight wins, and they went out and were world champions last year. And the point is, Eli is still there. He is preparing really well, and I believe that Eli, we can get two to three years out of this guy, and Eli can be a very, very good quarterback. And and, and the real thing is, it's, it's not all on Eli. Like Everybody wants to talk about, well, it's all about Eli Manning. Uh, Eli's the guy that hasn't performed that well. When the Giants were winning Super Bowls, it was a collaborative effort. The defense of Justin Tuck, OC, Michael Strahan, Antonio Pierce, guys that even Chase Blackburn contributed to championships. And the way that the Giants win is by collaborative football, by winning in phases of the game, which with good defense, a running game, everything's balanced. It's not just on Eli. It's not just on Odell Beckham. Everybody's p pitching in and helping winning games. And even Ben McAdoo, when he went 11 and five, first of all, his personality was just atrocious. Uh, ben McAdoo was treated the media like complete hot garbage. And Ben McAdoo was just a complete, total, almost sociopathic type of guy when he was behind the mic and he had no leadership qualities. Pat Shermer seems like salt of the earth, Midwestern, can totally get behind this guy leading our franchise. Dave Gettleman, very strong-willed person, very decisive, and I love that Gettleman is in charge. I absolutely love everything he did. The Giants will not regret this draft class at all. I think the Giants have a decent chance to compete for a championship next year and win the NFC East. I think that the NFC is so, so difficult, though, that I think the Niners are going to be very, very good. It's going to be tough to beat Jimmy G. New Orleans, Tampa Bay. It is a very difficult NFC. Kirk Cousins going to the Vikings. It is going to be very, very challenging and difficult, you know, for the Giants to even win a chip next year. But I still think the Giants can win the division, launch ourselves into a great spot, and we'll do everything we can to go ahead and win some championships, uh, you know, in the future. And I don't regret passing on a quarterback. I don't like any of these quarterbacks that were drafted. I don't like Darnold, Allen, or Josh Rosen. And the fact that everybody's saying we, the Giants took a risk, the Giants made a big mistake, when are you going to be drafting in the top whatever, just know that Dave Gettleman – 
completely on board. Pat Shermer, John Mara, I think, made tremendous hires. I love the direction that the Giants are going in. And even when McAdoo and the regime was 11-5, and five, even when that regime was 11-5, and five, they sucked versus the Vikings, they sucked versus the Redskins, sucked versus the Eagles. Um, the game against the Packers... That was a tra- travesty on Monday Night Football. 17-3. The offense was just totally awful. And uh, I'm probably going to have to get going what soon. What kind of so. ice cream do you want? I'll have a chocolate milkshake. Uh, I'm going to go in and actually get some ice cream too. So, All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Ice cream time. Bye-bye.